Hello everybody. Welcome to our first episode of Talkin' Music with Jerry. My name is Jerry Powers and I'm the artistic director of Daniel's Music Foundation. The purpose of this music series is to become more familiar with musical terms. This will allow you to communicate with other musicians much easier. If you're a beginner, someone who doesn't play an instrument, someone who is learning how to play an instrument, or someone who already plays, there will be some useful information in this series for you. We are going to explore the wonderful language of music together. In this series of Talk and Music with Jerry, we'll talk about pitch, frequency, range, rhythm, the musical alphabet, notes and scales, keys and chords, chord progressions, and all the other interesting things that come together to create music and songs. In today's episode, we're going to learn to describe sounds in our world, as well as musical sounds. And we're going to be using some words in this episode you may have already heard. But if you haven't heard these words before, don't worry, because I'm going to give you the meaning of each word and how they explain sounds in our world of music. Today's new words will be pitch, frequency, and range. We are going to listen to examples of sounds in our world first, after which we will listen to different kinds of music using the new words. Music is all around us. We hear different musical sounds every day. Some sounds are almost like musical notes. Some don't sound like music at all. Many of the sounds that we hear are very loud and noisy, and some are much quieter. Some are really high, and some are very low. Let's listen to some sounds in our world and let's see if we can hear the difference between sounds that have musical notes and other sounds that don't have any musical notes in them. So the alarm clock, the bell on the refrigerator, the cell phone, the doorbell and the elevator bell, the radiator whistling, the bell in the tower, the police and ambulance sirens, the chimes, all of those were musical sounds that have different frequencies. The other sounds had mixtures of frequencies that did not sound like musical notes, like the shower the gas ignition, the clock on the wall, the helicopter, the soda can, and the pigeon wings flapping, the construction site, and the crowd, all had unmusical sounds, but were full of frequencies. So we're going to continue this listening exercise by hearing three short examples of different musical groups. The first one will be an orchestra, the second one will be a marching band, and the third one will be a drum corps in a parade. First, we will listen to a brief excerpt of an orchestra playing the first part of the overture of the opera Carmen, written by the French composer 
Georges Bizet. Well, that is some very energetic music, isn't it? There are about 60 people in that orchestra playing together to bring that music to life. Lots of players, lots of instruments, lots of sound, lots of notes, lots of frequency. Strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion. Now let's listen to another short clip of a marching band playing a famous song. The marching band has woodwinds, brass, and percussion. There are some of the same instruments in the marching band that are in the orchestra, but there are no strings. Now finally, let's hear a drum corps. If you have ever been to a parade, you may have heard a sound like this. Well, I'll bet you noticed that the drum corps did not really play any musical sounds, did they? That's really different compared to the orchestra or the marching band. Now the marching band and the orchestra play a lot of notes and the drum corps plays a lot of sounds. The thing that they have in common is that all of those sounds and notes are made up of frequency. Well, we heard high notes, middle notes, and low notes. So here is the first new word for you. Another name for a note is a pitch. The word pitch means how high or how low a sound is. In our world of sound, we hear high-pitched sounds like a car tire screeching or a bird chirping. What about a child screaming? All of these sounds are high-pitched sounds also known as high-frequency sounds. What about the low-frequency sounds we hear? What about thunder? Did you ever hear a foghorn? These are low-frequency sounds. Maybe you are already familiar with the words bass and treble. Bass means the low frequencies, and treble means the high frequencies. Bass are the low frequencies and treble are the high frequencies. Many home music systems and music systems in cars have bass and treble controls. The old stereos we used to have had bass, mid-range, and treble controls. Bass frequencies are the low ones. Mid-range frequencies are the middle ones. Treble frequencies, like the cymbal that you hear, are the high ones. If you put the bass, mid-range, and high frequencies together, it sounds like this. Like music. A good example of low frequency would be the low notes on the piano played on the far left side of the piano, or a double bass in the orchestra. A mid-range sound would be the notes in the middle of the piano and most of the notes that a guitar or flute can play. Every note has a number that is different from every other note. Low frequency notes have low numbers. To give you an example of that, the lowest note on a bass guitar, which is the low E string, sounds like this. The number for the low E string is 41 because the low E string vibrates around 41 times a second. So its frequency number is 41. A short way of saying the frequency number is Hertz. 41 Hertz is the low E string's number. So let's do another one. 
Middle C on a piano is this note. Middle C vibrates about 261 times a second, or 261 hertz. It's not important to remember that number, but later on, as we learn more about music, it helps. The last word that we will talk about today is range. Range means the number of notes an instrument can play from the lowest to the highest. This cute little toy xylophone has a range of eight notes. So its range is eight notes. We call that an octave in music, but we'll talk about that next time. Stringed instruments like violins and pianos and harps have the largest ranges of all musical instruments. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this first episode of Talking Music with Jerry. In our next episode, we will listen to all the instruments in the orchestra, and we'll learn how to describe them. And we will continue on our journey, learning more about our wonderful world of music. Thank you for watching. There's so much more to talk about, so I'll talk to you later.